Wow, quite a few lives have been lost along here. Quite a few lives. Every, every summer someone drowns along here. Chasing the, uh, the mighty Australian salmon. A great sport fish, not much to eat, but a great biting land-based sport fish. But is it worth dying for? One can only wonder. This was a trust set up for the loss of life of Nathan Drew. Uh, he lost his life fishing here off the off the rocks. Family watched him get swept away. So you can see now they've got these life boys to throw to the, if anyone gets in trouble, throw the life boys so at least they can hang on. It's a really, really eerie place. But wow, what a fishing spot. But as a friend of mine says, you want to get one throw at the stumps and make it a good one. Is it worth not getting the chance to to have a throw at the stumps and instead throwing it all away? Look at this. That's how far the waves have come up. That's a good 10 metres, I reckon, just from the bot base of those rocks. a chance to catch anything out there. Big salmon, tailor, skipjack, big King George King George Whiting. Even the odd snapper. And uh, for those wanting to, to drift their baits out a bit further, it, even the uh, the odd southern fin tuna. But wow what a beautiful place. See, even these these rocks at the base of my feet are slippery. I'm gonna have to negotiate a way across and stay up the top out of harm's way. As you can see, the water is just glorious. The water is absolutely beautiful here, and it's a pretty steep drop off. Strong currents just w washing anyone that gets uh, anyone that gets caught up will just get washed out to sea. Pretty strong currents or autoed under, so I'm staying right up the top. It doesn't doesn't look dangerous to all you all you viewers, but it, it only takes one one out of the ordinary wave, and and that's it, all over. Later on, we'll get some footage of uh, Frenchman's Bay, where uh, land-based fisher fisher people, fishermen, fisher woman. Uh, can actually go and uh, catch herring, King George Whiting, a beautiful King George Whiting, one, probably the nicest uh, table fish you could get, probably right up there with the best anyway. And uh, we'll, we'll take a we'll take a uh, drive around Frenchman's Bay later and, and uh, see if we can find any fisher or any people fishing, I should say, uh, for King George Whiting from the shore. One of uh, one of the beautiful parts of the world, hey, around here. Albany, Western Australia. Wow, incredible how wet it is. Even here the rocks are slippery, wet and dangerous. Wow. So for any of you, you can see the distance, you can see how high up we are. For any of you people who think there's no way a wave can come up here, check this out. Check how slippery it is. We'll negotiate our way up the top here.
go shout our way down here. See this wave here building up. It won't come to much. Normally, the the uh, the, uh, the king waves that kill they can come. It's normally the fourth one. They come in sets of three, one, two, three, and then all of a sudden the fourth one just keeps building up. Over she goes. get the lunatics that fish off down here in the summer off this rock that I'm viewing right now you can see how slippery it is it's a it's a slippery slope Wow. Got to watch your footing just here. Don't want to slide down there. A nice 10 foot drop. Break a leg or two. This is a great... It's a great spot to get footage from. Part of the salmon holes, Albany, Western Australia people. Sensational. I see a fish down there in the, in the clear water now. I don't think I can get it. I can get it on the camera. I'll try and get one. I'll try and get it. No, I don't think she's going to show. She's she's dived down again. What a fishing spot! But uh, safety comes first, folks. These rocks are extremely slippery. This is the very top. Look how slippery it is. Fish at your own risk. Rule number one, never fish alone, ever, people. Make sure you let people know what time you plan to return. If you're not back by that time, they'll come looking for you. Oh, she's slippery all right. I nearly went in myself. 
Yeah, I think uh, I think on memory, young young Nathan who lost his life here. I think he was only about 15 or 16. Never turn your back on the ocean, ever. The moment you turn your back, that's when the wave comes. It's got so crazy down here, people chasing the, uh, the great mighty sport fish Australian salmon. They, uh, they risk their lives for it. So much fun catching them, but uh, it's no fish is worth losing your life for. No way. Right, we'll navigate ourselves back up to the top. Keep going. your steps, platform. It's a pretty hefty walk, isn't it? We'll get to the top, we'll get an area view of this place. Just great isn't it, being able to show people all around the world one of our natural wonders I think of, of the world. Probably uh, five hours or so south of uh, Perth in Western Australia. Beautiful beach. Wow. 